www.cloudformation.co.uk. Now, um, before we move on, mm. I grabbed something from the internet, P, which you very kindly shared on your Twitter feed right. earlier this week. And um, I really wanted to share it with our listeners. I think it'd be fantastic if they were to hear it. Okay. Um, and I'll just bring people up to speed. It's not about um, our Japanese family, is it? No, it's not. Right, no, okay. that can, I thought we'd do that one on Monday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just so, I've just got to get, make sure a few things check out. Yeah. Check with a few sources, yeah. Atsuka needs his shots. Waiting for an email from the Japanese uh, embassy. <laughs> embassy, so. right, okay, okay. Um, you shared something on Twitter, which was um, and many many listeners will be will be au okay fait with this. When you're about eight or nine, I think you you um, you fill in a little form at yes. school to say the things a little bit about yourself. Basically, you draw a picture of yourself, which obviously mm-hmm. won't work on a podcast. We're not going to go into that. But you talk about um, your likes, your dislikes, and the things you're good at and the things you're not very good at. Mm. And you shared my, my dad. Found, my dad found it in the loft a right, few days ago, and he, and he scanned it in and sent it to me. Bit of background. So um, I thought I'd run the listeners through the things that Pete particularly liked and disliked. And was good at, but needed to improve upon. Have you seen this? Have you all seen this? Um, I haven't. Right, this is, okay, then what about this? Then? Uh, the things you, you're good at and the things you need to improve at. I'm going to lay the good, the, good, the good at stuff, I'm leaving to the end because it's the best. Mm. Things you need to improve. Behaviour when people are not there. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that could... That could, how do they know what my behaviour is? Well, you know, you! Yeah. So that's me feeling guilty about the things well, I do when by you, myself. Yeah. When you say they, do you mean you or the other peeps in your mind? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's a weird one, that one, isn't uh, it? Behaviour at home. General yeah, behaviour of things. Behavior. Um, an attitude towards my sister. That's a yeah. sad one. I don't want to go into that one. What do you mean? I don't want to go into that one. She was horrible. She's a little monster. Look, I feel like that's an invasion of privacy. <laughs> I, I want to go into that one. Things Pete's good at, Jim. This is the, this is the absolute crescendo. Yeah. Things Pete's good at, okay. Starts off starts off fairly rudimentary. He, he, a bit full of himself here for a seven-year-old, but we've already heard he likes baseball, so he's pretentious anyway. <laughs> things I'm good at. Maths. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough. enough. That's yeah, fair enough. Maths. Computers. I think we could all yeah, guess mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Um, handling gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have one. what I like about that is, like, you, if you're bad at it, you kill it. If you're good at it, it's still alive. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's no... Well, there's like, Pete, there are absolutely shades of grey in what you just said. <laughs> They're very, very much... Are, a gerbil on the edge of death is... Uh, but technically alive. It's right. not in good state. Yeah. You went well, on to be a zookeeper, though, so you can't, do you, can't I mean, have been that bad at that. I mean, the, the gerbil thing, I mean, I, did I know that the gerbil genuinely enjoyed what I was doing with it? This is your thing. I don't know. Well, I'm, I was seven. eight years old, seven years old. Did you have a gerbil? Uh, yeah, we had two, Vic and Bob. Hey. Oh, well, they called and, yeah, Bob, Bob. What happened to them? Uh, one of them got its nose stuck in one of the holes, and my dad was about to uh, kill it with a knife, and then it just jumped off and uh, ran under the uh, under the uh, under the what? stairs and was never seen again. Right, is it still at large? Still at it's it's still at it's possibly, it's possibly, possibly still at large. Join the eighteen. It, it, it hooked it's its. It, it, I, I kind of have to defend my dad here. It, it hooked its teeth over the top of these. This, we'd made like a gerbilarium, which is like an aquarium for full of soil, so they could burrow around. And you could sort of see them what they were up to and stuff. It's good, and it's, it was a much better hamster slash gerbil cage. Than you, they had any right to expect in Hartlepool. <laughs> and it hooked its... It's it, it hooked its, um, it, its tooth over the thing, and we couldn't get it out, and it wouldn't obviously remove itself. And my dad was about to um, end its life with a brick and a knife, and uh, but it just it jumped out <laughs> at that point. And a knife. So why it one doesn't work. It just jumped off was and ran... Was it playing possum waiting for you to open it and then it was going <laughs> to leg it? <laughs> yeah, well, it jumped, it, it jumped under the stairs and we never saw it again, I don't think, so... OK. So oh, well, probably, 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 is that one of those things where it went to live on a farm? So, so Jim, <laughs> In the, in the grand scheme of things that things happened to the gerbils, I probably was quite good at handling it because my dad was going to get it with a knife. It, well, it, well, the final thing Pete's apparently good at is jumping. So yeah, I can't imagine that. Anticlimax after the gerbils thing. No, but, oh, they're not related, presumably. Yeah, no, you don't, never mind. No, there we go. There was, no, no, there was another bit in there was um, the uh, things I dislike: farms. I don't know what happened why? on the farm. Because your gerbil went to live on a farm, that's why. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I didn't see that one. Very strange. But the, 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 uh, the self-portrait that you did in pencil was actually passable. For a yeah. man of that age. The <laughs> Thanks, boy mate. Age, yeah, can... Thanks, mate. Oh, should we move on to the emails quick? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I've, I've got time for an uh, email, quick email. Yeah, yeah I, I think do, do, yeah. Yeah. This is an email referencing the show late last week about Pete and his skill of handling gerbils. OK, yeah, yeah, cool. You like that? <laughs> Marcus, you, you heard oh, that. Heard really. that yeah, you're yeah. up to speed, good. Um, <laughs> this is from... From Christopher Penny. I could have guessed it. He says, Hi guys, having listened to and thoroughly enjoyed the preview show last Friday, I thought it only fair to leap to Pete's defence on the gerbil front at least. Mm. Um, at the age of eight, I was similarly involved with gerbils. Uh, well, <laughs> steady now, come on. Well, it was just, I'm just reading that it as written, mate. <laughs> just said involved. Didn't yeah. say involved. Or anything That's like a that. funny term to you, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, it seems to be. Uh, what, what's on your mind? Uh, uh, I, I will say the penny has dropped yeah. in this case. Yeah. Can't spell involved without the word in. Well, I guess worse. Just down the road from me lived three brothers, each who had a gerbil. <laughs> One brother could tell the truth. <laughs> 
the other could, could only, only tell lies. Yeah. And the other one put jabs up his ass. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's what you're no. circling, you pervs. You, that's not that comes naughty. The, that's the fourth paragraph of the email. <laughs> <laughs> He said each, each, That's a yellow card. If I, may, if, I, if I make it yes, to you, yes, okay. just down the road uh, from me, the three brothers, each other gerbil. Being eight, sleepovers were rife. I went over one weekend to stay with my friend Tom's brother, and we came to playing with the gerbils. You've ruined this now when you chat. <laughs> <laughs> He says, anyway, he's, he's basically sticking out an olive branch to you here. Right. And you've literally shoved the back of his bum. <laughs> <laughs> he said... We were playing with the gerbils and all was going swimmingly until I lost what I deemed to be necessary control of one gerbil and immediately panicked, diving across the wooden floor, arm outstretched in a desperate attempt to save the gerbil from escaping. It's like cricket. Yeah. Save it from escaping. <laughs> In short, my clutch was too firm. Oh, no! Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, you got sympathy from now, oh. you? You're sticking sympathy up Sympathy for the devil. And, the to the devil. And the gerbil in question went into cardiac arrest. Oh, oh, God. The gerbil belonged to Tom, who came home from a sleeper of his own early that night in tears. Fast forward ten years, and I was delighted to have secured a work placement at a local firm in Bournemouth. I entered the office only to find out that Tom already worked there as a trainee. He was equally surprised to see me there. Chris, oh yeah, he killed my gerbil, he told the partner. <laughs> Five years later, we remain in touch, regularly revisiting Gerbilgate as Tom kindly tells of all our mutual friends about, about our, my murderous tendencies. <laughs> Tom's pretty chuffed now, though. To quote him, to be honest with you, mate, five pounds from gerbil food and a 3D dinosaur puzzle seems like a great deal. Yeah. Presumably got that in, uh, in, in, in compensation. <laughs> he says, I haven't touched a gerbil since and can only admire Pete's delicate gerbil handling ability. Oh, that's oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Though, I can imagine Pete probably killed a lot more animals than he did in his youth. That would be Just horrible. That type. I'm Crystal an animal lover. So I suggest, uh, for, for, for Felipe to your defence and uh, for in, in, in lieu of the fact that we didn't give out anything last mm. week, we should give him a ramble mug. We yeah. should. Full of gerbils. Christopher yeah. Penny. <laughs> Um, you can hold, you can keep maybe fashion it upside yeah. down for a little gerbil house. There we yeah. are. I, I mean, pork some air holes. So in get, it. get in touch, Christopher Penny. Um,